I'm Ashmail12.com and this is part 5 of my profile series videos. Um, now in this video I am going to go over the displaying users details again because in the previous video um, I made a mistake and what was happening was it was just printing out the logged in users details basically. Um, so we're going to make it more of a profile system now with a get ID and um, you know better. Um, right, so okay, so we've got that which just at the moment displays the current logged in users. So if I were to log in as someone else, um, you know, there's no way of me actually finding out, no way of me actually going onto another profile. So what we can do is if we go into Dreamweaver here, and the first thing we need to do is set up a, uh, a get ID sort of thing so under functions up here we require functions we're going to say if is set um, dollar underscore get ID okay and if there is one we're going to redirect the user um, to ID I'm going to kind it onto that dot get ID function that we used in another video I'm going to put in there the session username into there okay so if, if I just refresh this page now you should see how if you look up here where I've got index.php you might have profile.php um, if I refresh this page you should see that we should get a question mark equals ID and then the number of my ID well this accounts ID oh no nothing Let me just have a quick check um, if is okay if is not set sorry and now let's try it there we go id equals one so no matter so even if we just set away and go back to that it will always go to to um the current user's profile the current user that is logged in it will always go to their profile um first basically so if there's nothing here it will always go to the current users logged in the logged in users profile okay so the next step is we want to is see where we have um, where are we here users data we're going to change this to profile users data and we need to change this a bit here because um, um, one second actually profile users into get Right, okay, yeah, so get so we don't need the get ID session username anymore. We can get rid of that and basically if we just put in here my score underscore real underscore escape string and then put in there the ID from the get variable there. Okay. So now basically all we need to do is change all users data to profile users data. I'll just go ahead and change our list. Um, I think that's everything. Okay. So that's done. So now what we can do is if we come up to here and here we go, it's still all the same. If we try and put in say the ID two, um as you see we get a lot of errors because we've not um done any error handling for any valid ID yet, which we're going to get onto in a minute. So what we can do here is is if we go to um, in between the header div and the menu div. So here's the menu and here's the header. If we go in between here, basically all your content basically. So the reason I've done it here is because I want to leave the menu as it is. I don't want to get rid of the menu if that error exists so we want the menu to stay there so basically around the content that you want 
you don't want to be shown. So we're going to do PHP if user exists. So this is a function that we're going to create in a minute. My scroll underscore Ring. Okay. Don't underscore get ID. Okay, and then we open it there, and then we'll close it under the users details div and the above the PHP code that is already there. So here, here's the users details div. So we need to go underneath that and above that PHP tag. You could do it within this bit here so to put the code here like that um, but I'm just going to leave it like this just so we can get an idea of you can split code up basically um, so then we're going to do an else echo invalid id okay so at the moment if we refresh all this will go, but we'll get an error saying undefined function. There we go. Undefined function user exists. So we're going to create that function now. So we go into the functions.php. Basically, we can create a new function called user exists. And we need to pass it the ID, which we already did from the get variable. Okay, so this function is going to be num rows um, equals mysql underscore num rows and inside there we're going to have a mysql underscore query which is select um, select id from users where ID is equal to the ID that was passed into the function. Okay, so now we can do a check to say if num rows equals one, then we're going to return true, meaning that if it is one, then there is a user there, the user does exist in the database. Else return false. So um, that function then will return false because there is no user in the database. So now if we save this and if we refresh this page, we get the invalid ID um, and the menu is still here so we can go back. So say if we click back on profile now, um, not on profile, let me just, well yeah on profile, that's just one thing I missed off. Um, I have put profile there instead of index. So. If you're working along with me, you'd have to change that. Um, if we click back on that, we'll go back to our own profile. Um, and then no matter what ID we put in here, we'll still get invalid ID because there only is one user in the database. Um, so now what we can do is just enter another user just so we can test this out, just make sure it's all working. So if we go to the database here, which I have loaded up, if we go to insert, um, username, um, I don't know, uh, eta, password, obviously we need to encrypt this password, if I just go to md5encryption.com and just put in say password, not a very secure password but just for the purpose of this tutorial is the hash, so if we just copy and paste that into the password um, first name, Peter, uh, surname, all that's default stuff at the moment. So we can click go. Click go. Um, and there we have the another user in the database. And you can see that their ID is number two. So if we try and go to ID number two, we get everything up here. As you can see, all this stuff is dynamic at the moment, but because we've not coded any. All it is in the database exactly the same, NA, 0, NA, etc. That's what shows up, but you can see how the the name up here has changed. So if I go back to 1, 
we get my name and if we go to profile ID 2 um, that username or name comes up there so this video is just all about fixing the displaying users data um, code so thanks for watching and I will see you next time